My name is Carradine. Once, longer ago than I cared to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the Anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied, and soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. I, trapped forever in my own creation, a fitting punishment, I suppose. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! Your people on the surface believe that some magics are never worth the price of their use. Can you not see this is one of them? Why are you listening? We had an agreement. I'm the one you came here to find, not him. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! No one should be given dominion over another's soul. If anyone should know that best, it is a golem. It is powerful, yes, but at far too high a price. I cannot allow you to do this, stranger. To me, golems! Defend the anvil, whatever the cost! Here it is, the anvil of the void. So sweet, such power. You found the anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The anvil is everything I thought it would be. I... I should have known. I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Caradon. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? You showed which side you were on when you destroyed that golem. Don't get all high and mighty now. I'll make you the crown. Take it to Orzammar and dispose of it as you will.
There it is. An ugly lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. I can hear it. It wants to be used again. It speaks in a hundred different voices. Surely you can hear them. The dead. You think that's who I hear? But... No! It's the anvil, calling to be used! Did you hear what Carradin said? Hundreds of people were bound into golems, trapped inside the anvil when their bodies were destroyed. That's who you hear! No! It's not true! You lie! But I will not believe that was Carradin. Carradin would never turn on his own invention. He was a genius. The best of us all. He must have been wrong. The anvil was Orzammar's salvation. The voices. They've been calling to me for so long, and I didn't even... Oh, Hespeth tried to tell me, but I wouldn't listen. You have to make this right. The Bronca I knew would do what is right. The Anvil must be destroyed. It's an abomination. Go. Return to Orzammar. It's better they never know what became of me. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Carradin. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? Believe me, I appreciate the thought. But it will take me a while to master all the techniques without Carradin's example. Why don't we go with the crown for now? There it is. An ugly lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. Once Orzammar settles on its petty king, have him send for me. When next you lead your armies against the Archdemon, they will be shielded by a tide of steel men! I hope this makes you happy, Branca. I don't think you understand what it costs to get you here. Oh, stuff a rag in it, Ogren. Move on. Find a few whores. Sodding stone, I never thought you'd be the pining type. Now be gone.